my distinct pleasure to present the extremely talented designer of English Laundry and its associated brands, Mr. Christopher Wicks. Mr. Wicks, take it away. David, thank you for that wonderful intro, and thank you to everybody today for coming online in the internet world and uh, listening to what I have to say. Uh, and again, thank you very much. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about today is the English Laundry history. And the history of English Laundry actually started five years ago uh, when we launched the brand in the USA. And uh, I was designing for other brands within my corporation, the, the Fender brand, and the Jimmy brand, the Da Vinci brand, and I wanted to have an ultimate brand of English apparel that was elegant and also related to my past. So uh, we launched it five years ago and it's doing very well globally. And what's happening with the brand now is we're trying to grow the brand organically around the world through retail outlets, distributors, as well as our um, internet uh, webpage that you guys obviously found us on. Um, so we're moving forward uh, with some products, some new product that's coming into the line. We're launching this year, um, we're launching Netwear, we're launching a line of uh, formal shirts to wear with the neckwear that's actually called Workwear by English Laundry. Uh, we're also launching a watch line, a timepiece line that I've designed myself. I'm an avid collector of watches. And so consequently, by the end of the year, the growth of the brand will grow within itself just by the addition of what would be product. Um, so you'll see this coming onto the website and also into stores near you. And the, the brand itself, I have to thank you all for actually being involved the way you are and, and continuing to make it a great success. What I'm doing also today is an announcement of the new vignettes within the line. I kind of get bored just designing English laundry, English laundry. So what I tend to do is add to the line is small stories, as you've seen. As there's things like the independence line, which relates to... Um, overseas countries that England was involved with and helped to grow, such as India and Hong Kong, and I can use the art of that, uh, that culture. So if it's just an English laundry product and it's all about an English flag, the English country itself was so involved in the growth of the, 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 the global empire that I tend to pull art from the, the cultures and the countries that we're involved with. As, I'm going to pull a piece now, excuse me. Um, so what we have here, and this piece is a piece of Indian art. This is a new shirt that will be in the line for holiday this year and it reflects the art and the culture of India. So that would be part of the independence line. Uh, India became independent of England in 1947. There's going to be vignettes of another uh, story within the story and that would be... Um, I'm reading from a page here, as you can tell. It would be uh, People's Army. So that is People's Army Warriors for Peace. Again, these pieces here, if you could pass me that. It's, again, the, the, the colour story is olives, beige, tans, all to go with denim. It's a lot softer line. It's related to um, the, the form and function of what would be military apparel. And that's what I've designed around but with, a, with a true fashion element. This is, if you can see it here, I've not got a huge amount. This is the, the, the little, um, the, the new swing ticket that's on the brand, People's Army by English Laundry. Um, all, all laundered, all washed. And what we're trying to do is use organically grown cottons uh, and trying to stay as eco-friendly as possible with this new People's Army brand within a brand. Um, very shortly what I'm going to do is answer some of you, your guys' questions, some very interesting questions, and I'm so surprised we had so many from around the world. Um, if, I hope you guys can hear me clearly. I've just mo moved the microphone a little closer. Um, I'm going to go into the, the questions now uh, that you, you guys have asked out there. The first one comes from uh, Dickie Mack from Kansas City, and he's asking about the, the bio uh, he's read somewhere where in my youth I was sketching guitars, I was sketching a lot of things. I started drawing in my, in my very early formative years, which, which um, assisted in me becoming a designer in later life. And he asked, uh, what were some of the guitars I sketched? I was always inspired by Fender guitars, uh, hence why we have in this company and, and within my um, portfolio of designs, I designed the, the Fender guitar collection, the clothing collection. So guitars were a big part of my youth, so that's the first question answered. Number two from Dustin of Palm Beach. 
He says, how did you sign the names of the shirts? It, it, again, a very self-indulgent line. This I actually design around my hometown of Manchester, England, or things that happened in the UK. In fact, one of them is actually named after my mother, which seems, you know, kind of corny, but it's just whatever I feel that relates to the shirt I'm looking at after I've designed it. So consequently, that's for Dustin in Palm Beach. We've got a question here from Geoffrey from Derby in England, uh, good old England. He's asking why he doesn't see more products in England and why, in fact, he can buy more products in Australia than he can in England. We're looking for a distribution base in the UK and we hope to have had that tied up uh, by mid-09 uh, mid uh, mid should be the time when we have that distribution base set up in the UK. So thanks, Geoffrey, for that question. And the next one is from, it's Mick Michael, I believe, of Toronto. Uh, and he's asking why we uh, don't do uh, more French cuffs. There's actually French cuffs in the line with a revolutionary um, snap cufflink, so you don't actually lose the cufflink. Uh, we're the first people to ever do that. I'm quite proud of that piece. And so it's a, a fixed cufflink. We do do a French cuff on many of the styles with an affixed cufflink. Uh, the next one we've got here, I believe this is from Ron Vols of Los Angeles. And he's asking about blazers and suitings that are going to be, are they going to be in the line? Yeah, in Holiday 08 we've actually got some uh, classic jackets as well as he's requested a velvet jacket. There's two styles in velvet for the Holiday line coming out, as well as we're in negotiations for Summer 09 where we'll be launching a complete line of semi-bespoke tailored suitings. So keep your eye out for that one. Next one is Rob Barham of Ottawa. Uh, and he's asking, in which cities in Canada would we, would we open stores? Uh, we're looking at building on a retail base. We have our base now in um, our first two initial stores. We open in Melrose because it's very easy to work from our base in Los Angeles with the Melrose Avenue um, location. So consequently, uh, answering his question in Canada, yeah, we're going to be an, uh, opening the major cities of Vancouver, Montreal, and Toronto late 09 and um, early 2010. Next one we've got is um, from uh, San Jose, um, a young man called uh, Din Vai, uh, and he said, can I come up with more English rose designs? English rose is yet another vignette of, of the clothing line that I'm designing right now. Um, and that's a, a, a junior line and yeah the, the la that line is expanding it can be found at such stores who are featuring it right now which is Metro Park which is a Southern California based retail group um, let me see what else we've got here I've got one here from Dion Reynolds of Hong Kong and he's asking when did we start when did I start to design shirts and how did I stop myself from bringing designs from one shirt design into the next design. Well, you'll see some duplication. There'll be uh, the embroiders that really look well on a shirt and sell well and uh, uh, have a design strong, ba uh, strong design base. We'll continue that design and add it to another fabrication. So I don't tend to duplicate a shirt, but sometimes I do use the same embellishment on the product and then I change the fabrication. And the last one is Richard from Orlando. Um, have we ever thought of venturing into the shoe industry? We're actually in negotiations now with many different sets of people uh, building the brand with specialists like a shoe manufacturer and hopefully by the back end of 09 a shoe line should be in place. So that's the 10 uh, questions answered. I am going to go through the bulk of the questions and answer you guys by email um, and, and give uh, the, these are 10 chosen. The rest of you guys that actually sent in a question, I'm going to try and answer as many as I can by email and uh, get back to you with some of those questions that you requested. Well, you, the 10 guys I've just mentioned are the 10 winners. Congratulations, and thank you for taking part in the, uh, in the competition. Now the next one we're gonna have a, 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 it's a wrap up and we're gonna give out the 25% coupons. Now the code to get that coupon is MAGIC. If you punch in MAGIC, then that's where you get your 25% discount voucher. Um, my producer's just telling me something. Oh, that, the, the coupon actually is only going to be a 48-hour term, so I wish it could be longer. Over the next 48 hour, guys, uh, come in and uh, make sure that you collect your, your coupon under the term MAGIC. 
Uh, what else are we going to do, AJ? That's it. I'm going to wrap up, guys. I want to thank you very, very much for being part of it. It's the first time I've done anything like this, as you can probably tell. Um, but by all means, keep sending in emails. I'm very pleased the way the brand's going globally. Um, I love all your, your insight and your, and your explanations of why you like the brand. And uh, again, thank you very much. This is Christopher Wick signing off. Bye-bye. Well, Christopher, thank you so much for coming on. This was really wonderful. And I'm glad we got to see some of those designs. And I know everybody that's listening or watching you is also equally excited. just want to reiterate that the special coupon code that Christopher Matt mentioned